This is a demonstration video of the features unlocked and benefits available from purchasing the full feature upgrade for FFT Lite from Studio 6 Digital. The first thing that you will notice after upgrading is that all ads are removed immediately upon purchase. Also, all of the controls are now active. Starting with the smoothing control on the lower left, you can change from 1 24th octave to 1 12th octave, 1 6th octave, 1 3rd octave, or octave band smoothing. Next, let's look at the graph decay options. Select from an exponential decay of 1 half to 8 seconds, or peak hold mode, or average mode, which linearly averages FFT readings over any length of time. Tap the reset button to restart the averages. Use the generator to create pink or white noise, and also sine or square waves, including sweeps. The Save Recall feature allows you to save and recall plots, and also save detailed tab delimited data files of 148th octave dB values and frequencies locally or to Dropbox or iCloud. These files can be imported into Excel or Apple Numbers to view the data. Recalled files appear in different colors on the screen. Here we're saving the current data into another file and then recalling it back on the screen. Note that it is in a new color. Unlocking the full features of FFT also opens up a number of graphical user interface features. Use the cursor to read out dB values at any frequency point on the screen. Apply a vertical pinch gesture to zoom the dB scale in or out. Or use a horizontal pinch gesture to zoom the frequency scale. At any time you can double tap the screen to normalize the display to fit the entire plot onto the screen. Let's look at some of the settings options that are unlocked. For the FFT, you can now change the FFT size from 2048 points to 32768 points. Or, use our equal points per octave mode for high resolution plot across the entire frequency range. In addition to full mode, select low frequency mode to see the dB data from 5 Hz to 3 kHz. Apply A or C plot weighting and change the FFT windowing and overlap if needed. Use compare and normalize modes to see the difference between the running FFT and a stored FFT. In this example, we are recalling a plot that we have just saved, so the differences between them will be small. The plot is centered around the 0 dB line since we have turned on normalize. Apply plot averaging to average all of the recalled plots into one line. Turn on the audio monitor to listen to the input signal. You can also change the input source selection. Change the SPL readout to flat or apply A or C weighting. Let's look at peak tracking. Set peak tracking to cursor to view a frequency number that moves around the screen and follows the highest point on the plot. Change it to large to see a single larger number on the screen. Use the graph scale controls to set the dB and frequency graph limits to specific values and to select log and linear graph scale options. You can also select show music note to turn on the music note display on the frequency cursor. You can make the dB display large simply by tapping on it. If you tap the picture frame icon in the upper right corner, a screenshot is saved to your photo roll. Buying the full FFT feature package unlocks all of these features in both the standalone FFT and audio tools across all of your iOS devices that are linked to the same iTunes Store account. This completes our demonstration video of the FFT Lite upgrade from Studio 6 Digital.